Hi, I'm Kaylin James, and do you hear something? Okay, well. Come on, but yeah, we're losing daylight. Come okay, on. I'm sorry. I just I thought I heard something. Okay, I can get it right this time. Come on, it's getting dark. All right, here we go. I'm Kaylin James, and welcome to Fashion Style Miami. It's the spookiest time of year, so we're taking a look at the art of transformation. Whether it's a jester, a witch, or maybe even a zombie, body artist Keegan Hitchcock can transform you into something to delight, or maybe something to terrify. This all started because I invited body painting artist Keegan Hitchcock to the set of Art Loft to transform me into a jester for our Halloween special. So how did you end up doing this? Um, my mom ended up being a birthday party clown oh, after fun. my little brother was born. She didn't want to go back to work full time. Uh -huh. So she did that on the weekends. And fun. being a little girl, of course, I was fascinated with makeup anyway. Mm -hmm. So anytime I could go with her when she was learning new face paint things or playing with her stuff, mm -hmm. I did that. All right, so first I am doing a background of a classic white face, like, you know, the classic kind of gesture or clown sort of face. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go over, right now I'm sponging it on, just trying to make sure we got a nice even background. Mm -hmm. And then once that is complete, we're gonna make your eyes a little bit more dramatic, give them some cool designs, and maybe a little definition in your cheeks, a little rosy cheeks, a little contour, so you're, you're cute and sexy, but a little spooky to stay with the Halloween theme. Nice. This is the part where it's a little bit of the spooky Almost that kind of vampire, like sucked in cheeks mm -hmm. kind of look. So the gaunt look. Exactly. So really good tip with the contouring, even in fashion makeup. If you do a little darker, using black, you wouldn't really use black on a regular basis. Use a little darker than your own skin tone. A little shading above the collarbone here and a little below so your collarbone looks more prominent. Mm -hmm. Makes you look like you lost about 10 pounds. Good to know. <laughs> and there are conventions that, that um, they either travel around or they're in the same city at the same time of year. Here in South Florida, there's one, the Face and Body Art International. Mm -hmm. They, uh, some of the best artists from all around the country and the world come and teach seminars oh, for uh, nice. four days and classes all day, then practice and partying all night. What are the essentials in a face painter and body painter's bag? Uh, well, paints, number one. You want to only use FDA-approved body paint, face paint. There are a lot of artists who, who are really great at what they do, but mm -hmm. they'll use uh, craft store paint or fine art paint. Mm -hmm. And although it may say non-toxic on the container, mm -hmm. it's still, it was never tested to be on the skin for mm -hmm. hours at a time. So it's non-toxic for the intended use. Right. Which is usually a canvas or a wall or paper. One of the other things in my kit that I, uh, I forget about sometimes but are a great tool are stencils. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to lay down a, a background color on your arm here. We're going to go with the red. You've got your cute little red and black jester thing nice. going on. So I'll lay down in sort of a diamond pattern to go with what you've got on. Mm -hmm. And you just lay it. Once this is dry, you can kind of touch it. You don't get a lot on your hand. It doesn't really smudge too much. So we'll do that. Lay it nice and tight on your skin and just kind of tap or stipple your next color on. And then... And then, my transformation was nearly complete. Finishing touches were added to the lips, eyes, we added fantasy lashes, now add thigh highs, shoes, a corset, gloves, a headband, oh, and we can't forget the scepter, and voila! Transformation. Oh, how I love pretending to be another character. Then came the invitation. Keegan, thank you so much. I love this. It's amazing. Awesome. And if you want to see some more spooky stuff, mm -hmm. come on up to Fort Lauderdale. We've got a zombie walk coming up. What's, up? What's that, a zombie walk? Uh, people get together. We have six artists getting all their zombie makeup done, and then they kind of take over Fort Lauderdale, creeping people out. The zombie walk at Revolution in Fort Lauderdale seemed like a great idea. There were vendors with scarves, brain jerky, brain soap, and lots of zombies. Even baby vampires, artists, 
the zombies came in every incarnation. There were sexy zombies, bloodthirsty nurses, daft punk DJ zombies, and even the babies got in on the action. It's an annual family-friendly event where professional makeup artists transform ordinary people into fear-inducing zombies. But nothing, I mean nothing, prepared me for this dark side of Keegan Hitchcock's work and what it had in store. Happy Halloween from Fashion Style Miami.